And in this video, we're going to go on from the last video, which was really just a very basic how to get started in Stencil. And in this video, we're going to actually start building the game. So what I'm going to do is give you some advice about how to get your game started. So this is the way I would do it in this order. First of all, make sure you've got all your actors downloaded, the ones that you need at least to get started. If you need a background, go and grab one now from Stencil Forge. Make sure that your tile sets are downloaded if you're using tiles and go directly to scenes and create a new level. So in this case, I've already got a level one, but to show you how this works, I'm gonna call this level one A, just to make sure that you understand what I'm doing. In this case, I'm going to give it a background color because I'm kind of ripping off Mario. I'm gonna go for that same kind of sky blue that Mario has in the game. And we just do that. Now you can see that my level is just an empty screen with nothing on it. So what can we do? Let's zoom out so we can see what my level looks like. And in this case, what I want to do is basically build my scene. So in this case, what I want to do is just add a grass layer at the bottom, like so. Now you can see I've made a mistake. There's nothing really to panic about because I can just click the black arrow, select those two and delete them. Now, in this case, I've just created the floor. So let's go and grab one of our actors. And I can actually just pick up a monkey and throw him down there. Another way to do that would be to go back to the dashboard, to the actors, and to the monkey itself. And in this case, ignoring everything else, go to the top right where it says Add to Scene. I'm going to add it to Level 1A. Press OK. And again, that's exactly the same as I did before. So we're just going to put the monkey roughly there, like so. Now, you notice that the monkey is still there. So as long as I keep clicking, it's almost like a stamp. This monkey is just going to be created again and again. So be very careful about that. So I've got the monkey on the floor inside my level 1A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this scene. Now you're going to be doing a lot of testing of your game. Every time you write a new piece of code, you're going to be pressing that test scene or test game button just to make sure your game is working. In this case, of course, my monkey is working because I've already programmed it. In your case, you're just going to have a monkey standing on the floor doing absolutely nothing. So we really have to get used to doing something in stencil and then testing it immediately to see whether we've fixed a problem, created a problem, or broken something. So let's go back to our stencil. So that's how I would get started in stencil by creating first a new scene. That's my level 1A in this case, grabbing one of the actors, putting them in that scene, and making sure that once we're in the scene, that we're also putting our tiles down where they need to go. Now, if I open up my actual scene, which was level 1, you can see that there's something extra. Let me just zoom out. You can see that in this case, I put the tiles on the floor and I also put these blocks. Now these blocks are ones that I created very quickly in Inkscape and I just import them into Stencil. I'll show you how to do that later. It's not so important right now. So what do we need to do now? Now we need to go back to that piece of paper we had or that design and think about what actually is going to happen in the game. Does my character move? Does my character jump? Does my character shoot bullets? Are there baddies? Are there coins? Are clouds going to float by? All the little things that we've thought about, we now have to build them into Stencil and start programming each one of those things to do the thing that they're supposed to do.